I'm editing photos in Lightroom and I'm looking at it and I'm like, what the heck are these random blocky color artifacts happening in my photos? I'm trying to wonder what is even going on because I got a nice Sony a7 III. It shouldn't be doing these blocky things. I want my pictures to be clear and crisp. Look at my right shoulder in this photo without even pixel peeping. You can see weird artifacts that are happening with the purples and the blues and the shadows. Let me zoom in and you can see it's all dotty and mangled and like what the fadoodle and check this photo session out from when i did a photo shoot of roberto you can see in his hair even without pixel peeping click and going 500 times zoom there's some colorful wackiness happening in his hair over here and let me zoom in to show you look there's some color blotches purple and blues and i know this guy's hair is black okay I've seen him in real life. My awesome photo buddy Will is over when he notices it too. And we're spending an hour looking through the settings, adjusting the saturation, adjusting the temperature. Like what is going on? Am I pushing the vibrance too hard? Am I putting the saturation too hard? I'm messing with the adjustments down here and the blues and the purples. Try to figure it out. And I have no clue what is going on. I scroll up in the settings and I notice at the top, the profile is set to camera portrait. You see, when I take a photo, I want it to match the camera profile. So the first step that I do is I switch it from Adobe Color. I click this setting over here. I click Browse to go into the Sony ones, which are color matching, and I click Camera Portrait. But then when I switch over to Adobe Color, bada boom, bada bing, all the blockiness and weirdness is gone. There's a little bit of color difference there just from the light, but that blockiness, look, I'm going to switch to the camera. You see like, these little dots and the little blockies going on? Good, 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 good. It is not looking good. What the heck is going on? Why is it doing this? I research it and I find out that these camera profiles, they're not from the manufacturer. Okay, it's not sent from Sony HQ, you know, they're designing it for them. Be like, hey, Adobe, have these camera profiles for your customers. No, that's not how it works. You know how it works? Adobe is sitting there with the cameras and looking at the backs of the screens and adjusting Lightroom to try to match the profile and the camera as much as possible. It's Adobe's subjective take on the camera profiles. It's not official, it's not canon, this ain't going meta, okay? And that's the fix, my friends, edit from Adobe Color. But you're saying to yourself, when you're on the other profile, it matches your vision a lot better. I want that portrait, the Adobe portrait is, I don't know, the colors are looking gross, I don't know what's happening. So I investigate a little bit more and I find out that people make custom profiles and I found this one called Color Fidelity. It's a person on the internet. I don't know their origin story or anything like that, but tons of people recommend these Color Fidelity profiles and they sell profiles for specific cameras. So I download the Sony a7 III ones. So let me switch from Adobe Color to the Color Fidelity portrait. It just needs to be edited. But as you can see at the bottom left, I'll flip back to the camera portrait and you can see these purple fringing dotty blockies over here. Switch over the color fidelity portrait and it is not as apparent this photo needs to be adjusted and edited a little bit more but it is looking better let me show you with the other photo i'm gonna go to roberto and we got camera portrait selected gonna click browse we're gonna switch it over to color fidelity portrait or color fidelity medium any one of these right i'm okay i'm just gonna pick portrait and you can see his hair is crispy and black. No more purple fringing, no more weird colors happening. The photo needs to be adjusted with this new camera profile, obviously, but you have clear, crisp hair. That rainbow artifacting blackiness is gone. So that is the fix. Do not use the Lightroom Sony camera matching profiles as a starting point. Stick to the Adobe RAW or if you want a different starting point because I noticed with the Sony a7 III it has a bias towards green tones in the face and that's not really my preference. Obviously it is fully adjustable and changing because I'm shooting in RAW. Anybody can do these changes but it is a good awesome starting point with the color fidelity profiles. The awesome thing is you choose the camera and it's only 25 bucks and you get five different profiles to start from. And I have actually been enjoying starting from those profiles rather than the Adobe ones and the camera matching ones, which I'm not going to use anymore. This video isn't sponsored. I just found this on the internet and I want to share it with everyone so they can have a good starting point 
for their photo edits. Color Fidelity link in the description. Hope this fixes your photos, gives you good starting points, and makes your photography that much more amazing. Thank you.